President Kennedy came out with a statement. Of course, he knew Dudley Richards well, and I think he was personally touched, affected by what had happened. It's a message from the president. The Memorial Fund was established by Ritter Shumway right after the crash to support skaters, both in education and in their skating, and it continues to this day. The losses which were sustained in the Brussels tragedy are irreparable. The Memorial Fund gives promise that there will be a fresh release of talent and creativity in the years ahead. Eight days after that crash, the Memorial Fund began. And that memorial fund helped me. They bought me skates. I was from a very simple family. We didn't have a whole lot of money. And to have somebody you know, buy skates for me was a, a huge help for our family. These athletes, coaches, parents that never got to experience that dream come true, but they were a springboard for everyone that came after them. I wouldn't skate in the Olympic Games in 1980 or 1984 without the Memorial Fund. My dream would not have come true. They made it possible. So all of us who came after represent their promise and their dream. And I remember, you know, the first time that I saw the picture, I was probably around 12 years old too. And I don't know why, it was so compelling to me. It always inspired me to want to learn more about the people in the picture. And when you look at this team, every single performance was organic to that mm -hmm. performer. Mm -hmm. The diversity of them all. The diversity was unbelievable. And the yeah. age difference, and the life yeah. stories, it was it's fascinating yeah. to see where they were all headed. You know, all of these people that were on that plane have touched our lives. They've taught our coaches. They've touched our skating. That's true, because for all of us, the people who taught us were so connected to the people on the airplane. You know, we talk about the, the legacy. Yeah. And today means nothing. Today means absolutely nothing unless you celebrate your past. On January 15, 2005, I won my ninth U.S. figure skating title. To this day, that's more U.S. titles than any American skater, except for one, Maribel Vincent Owen. I tied a record that day, but she and I were connected long before that. Maribel Vincent Owen taught my coach, Frank Carroll, and the discipline, precision, and technique she ingrained in him were in turn ingrained in me. So in a way, it was through him that I became her student. And it is through both of them that I became world champion. The moment you step on the ice for your Olympic moment, it's kind of a surreal time because you've lived that moment 10,000 times in practice. And you hope that the next four and a half minutes represent the thousands and thousands of hours and the hundreds of thousands of repetitions of every one of these moves that you've done over all these years and you pray for that moment to happen a lot of the americans are already on their feet in the zetra arena scott hamilton goes after the gold medal for me sarajevo was like you've done this so many times one more just one more I think the natural progression of competitive sport is that you take the accomplishments of those who came before you and you try to add on to those. And the unique thing about figure skating is that everyone has their own way of presenting these athletic benchmarks. And to look back at what Dick Button accomplished and what he did, the very beginning of, of men athletic skating, he did things that no one even dreamed of. He invented things that we all take for granted now, but in the time, he was 20 years ahead of everyone else. Genius. I think that a lot of times, 
probably parents would have trouble or, or not in my parents' case. They, they allowed you know, me to have my independent nature and my independent relationship with my coach because they knew it's what I needed. They had confidence that she was doing the best thing for me to become the skater that I needed to be. I thought it was fascinating yeah. when you told me that your parents didn't go to the rink all, yeah. every day. Yeah. I was like, really? I just think that they, I, I wonder about that all the time. Why were my parents leave me alone? They would just come pick me up at the rink. And I, was always, I would always get in a really bad mood when they would show up early, like 15 minutes like left in the session and watch me skate. I would always have like a terrible 15 minutes of the session. Mm -hmm. And it was because they were watching me. And I don't know what it was, but I just didn't like them being in the rink. They and must have thought you were a bad skater. <laughs> maybe they did. <laughs> They're like, he has, <laughs> there is no hope for my He's kid. really not very good. <laughs> no. So did let's just stay harder? out of the rink. Did you try harder because they were there? I don't know. I think, I think that there was also a part of me that wanted to show them how hard it was. It wasn't just like a walk in the park. It was like hard to see, do a double axel. <laughs> yeah, see, I fall. Yeah. It's hard, and I fall multiple times, and I keep, trying, I keep trying, I keep trying. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it's, it's hard, and I wanted my parents to see that. But, you know, I can't imagine having my mom there at the rink all the time, you know? When I turned 16, my mom was, there's the keys, because I'm tired of driving you at 4.30 in the morning. Because she would drive me to 5.30 skating session, and then she'd come back and pick me up for school. So as soon as I turned 16, it was like that much. They just didn't want to be at the rink at all. Here are the keys. I'm like, aren't you going to drive me so I can sleep in the car? And they're like, nope, no. you're on your own now. Aww. And that was how much they allowed me to be independent. And I think that that was, I think that was good because I didn't want the expectation of my parents. I didn't want them to expect me to be a champion. I didn't want them to expect me to be anything that I didn't feel that I could be. And I got that from them.